Cassandra Fidele's Letters and Orations is a remarkable collection of Renaissance-era writings that offer readers a unique glimpse into the life and intellect of a woman who defied societal norms and achieved a level of erudition and influence rarely seen among her female contemporaries. This collection of letters and orations, originally written in the 15th century, not only showcases Fidele's mastery of classical languages and rhetorical skills but also highlights her dedication to learning and the pursuit of knowledge in a predominantly male-dominated world. The compilation consists of a series of letters and orations, which are a testament to Fidele's eloquence, wit, and persuasive abilities. While she addresses various topics, her writings predominantly revolve around themes of education, women's rights, and humanism, which were central concerns of the Renaissance period. Fidele's eloquent and passionate prose in her letters and orations reflect her deep commitment to these issues. Fidele's keen interest in education is evident throughout her works. In one of her letters, she passionately argues for the importance of educating women, asserting that they are just as capable as men if given the same opportunities. Fidele's advocacy for women's education was a revolutionary stance in a time when female intellectualism was discouraged, and her writings stand as a precursor to the later feminist movements. Moreover, the collection offers insight into the world of Renaissance humanism, where the revival of classical learning and the exploration of individual potential were highly valued. Fidele's orations reveal her dedication to this intellectual movement, as she eloquently celebrates the virtues of classical education and its power to shape human character. She argues that the study of ancient texts can help individuals attain virtue and wisdom, an idea rooted in the belief that learning and knowledge could lead to moral improvement. The letters and orations in this collection also serve as a powerful medium through which Fidele engages in intellectual and rhetorical dialogues with other scholars and humanists of her time. Her correspondences with prominent figures like Giovanni Pico della Mirandola and Angelo Poliziano demonstrate her active participation in the intellectual circles of the Renaissance. These exchanges provide a fascinating glimpse into the intellectual debates and exchanges that characterize the period. Fidele's style of writing is notable for its elegance and clarity. Her letters are not merely personal correspondence but are also persuasive essays in which she employs rhetorical techniques to advance her arguments. She draws upon classical references and quotes from Greek and Roman philosophers to support her claims, showcasing her formidable knowledge of the classics. One of the most compelling aspects of Letters and Orations is the biographical context it provides. Fidele's writings not only reveal her intellectual prowess but also shed light on her life experiences. Born into a well-educated family, she faced the challenges of a woman seeking a formal education, which was uncommon for the time. Her struggles and achievements serve as an inspirational narrative, offering a glimpse into the difficulties faced by women aspiring to intellectual and social recognition in a patriarchal society. In conclusion, Letters and Orations by Cassandra Fidele is a remarkable collection of Renaissance writings that illuminates the life and ideas of a pioneering female scholar. Fidele's commitment to women's education, her embrace of humanism, and her engagement with the intellectual currents of her time are central themes that resonate through her letters and orations. Through her eloquence and persuasive rhetoric, Fidele played a pivotal role in advocating for women's rights and promoting classical education. Her legacy endures as an inspiration for those who continue to champion the cause of gender equality and intellectual empowerment. This collection is a testament to her enduring influence and a valuable historical document for anyone interested in the Renaissance, gender studies, or the history of education.